Hello, it's me, it's Moira. Um, I thought, I saw a video this morning, to be fair, I don't think it was a junk journal thing, I think it was a scrapbooking thing, and uh, the girl was making tags out of repurposed um, packaging from craft things, right? Um, I don't have anything like that because uh, nine times out of ten the stuff I'm buying doesn't come with any packaging. <laughs> because uh, I get a lot of it second hand but I thought I could maybe use some old packaging for a box um, and what I would also use rather than she used a lot of fancy scrapbooking papers um, I thought perhaps I could use my collection of washi tapes um, so that is what I plan to do uh, I'm still working through the things that are on my desk um, and by things on my desk I mean things that uh, when I started my first project about two or three days ago are still lying on my desk and in that respect I really want to try and move them um, or determine that I'm throwing them out or whatever excuse me and you know and I know that I don't want to throw those out I want to use them to make something so let's try and make some tags from some repurposed um, in my case biscuit box and we'll see how we get on. Uh, these are quite big for tags but I thought they might just make an interest in journaling card size. It's a, a box of low calorie because Moira's always on a diet. Um, kind of biscuity cake things. So I've the front and back and the bottom of the box because it's a kind of funny shaped box. Uh, so we can make that into a kind of bookmark type tag and we'll just make them into big journaling cards using whatever we have here on my desk together with some washi. Now I have run over them with gesso and it's, I know myself when I first started watching videos and people would start to talk about things like gesso and uh, glues and whatever and it, if you if you don't do a lot of crafting it's like, what did she call that? What is that? And what do, where do you get that? And folk don't know. And everybody just batters away and starts talking about it as if, well, you know, you should know. Well, no, you don't, because you're not born with knowledge of these things if it's not something that you've ever seen anybody using. So, in that respect, forgive me if you do know what I'm talking about, but there will be one or two folk who don't know what I'm talking about. And in that respect, I would like to introduce Jessel. Jessel is surface preparation, it, it says it on the bottom, it's basically a kind of white paint that you use to enable you to um, prepare surfaces for either further paint and or glue. Now I've used gesso on this because it is, a, or it was rather, a shiny surface if you like. Um, it Obviously when manufacturers are making packaging and um, they coat everything with a kind of gloss if you like and see that gloss that gloss prevents you from generally speaking letting paints or glues adhere properly whereas if you slap a coat of gesso on it enables it to have a degree of um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but effectively it makes things a lot easier when it comes to sticking. So um, I have gessoed these before we started. Now you'll notice that they're not attractive. Um, it isn't intended. It is literally a covering which enables you to prepare the surface for whatever your next um, task might be. It is also gesso is also exceptionally useful when you're doing a background if you feel your background is too in your face if you like to kind of mute it down somewhat and once we get working here if it's the case that I feel that would be relevant to the project we're doing I shall go over it with gesso and show you exactly what I'm meaning. So let's start and let's find some nice washi. Now I've got some really thick washi which appears to be like French adverts um, and that would make a nice background so I think we'll use that on our very first one. Now the other thing about washi tape is it is like um, 
to some extent it's like a, a tape you would use if, uh, let me think, <sighs> say you wanted to stick something like se it, like sellotape, right, or whatever, I think sellotape's a brand name, right, well we all know what sellotape is, um, but the problem is washi tape is similar but not as sticky, and in that respect it is generally speaking a wise idea to use something like a glue stick or a glue to just add a wee extra something that lets your washi tape definitely stick long term to whatever your project is. So we shall run my glue stick along here trying to get the corners. Now it's very difficult to use it without ending up getting it all over your table, so just watch what you're doing. And we shall add some tape. Now this actually does look as if it's really quite uh, sticky. I'm going to try and get it to the edge. And I, because this is quite big and thick, uh, what you also want to do is try and make sure you get it down without blisters and in that respect I'm going to bring in my trusty piece of acetate and go over it and cut that there that's fine the good thing is it's now holding it down to my table. Right, now because that's so wide I don't want to waste that by using it again. So I've got another one which is quite similar and bear with me while I shove my head in the camera. I'm going to use that there. And where's my acetate? There you go. So that's it. At least I've got a bit of washi on it. <coughs> now what we're going to do is we want to take the excess washi off. And a lot of folk are quite happy uh, running it over the back. And I can understand why. Because if you run it over the back that ensures that it's not going anywhere. It's definitely sticking. But the problem with running it over the back is I want to use this as a, what do you call it, a journaling card. Um, and if I've got big bits of washi on it, then I don't think I'm going to make that very easy for myself to, to write on, do you know what I mean? Unless I subsequently add another piece of paper to it. And I don't want to, because I'm happy with the inside of the box, if you like, uh, because it's a kind of grey crafty colour, a bit like a uh, mount board or whatever. I'm trying to do this in the camera and I'm conscious of the fact that nine times out of ten I make videos and you can't see things because I end up pulling them off to the side to work on them. This is very sticky washing. Sticky wicky washing. Sticky wicky washing. There we go. Right. Now I'm doing that because I'm trying to make sure it's definitely stuck down. There we go. You can see yourself, you can still to some extent see the box below it, and but that's okay because that is all part and parcel of the making it interesting. Now I'm going to show you what I mean about adding a wee bit of gesso. Um, right, my gesso comes in a wee bottle and I have, when I was doing it earlier, poured it into a wee glass container and covered it over with cling film. I'm going to use that and just very lightly and roughly apply a wee bit of gesso 
thinly on this uh, washi to make it a wee bit less screamingly obvious. It's a bit like the shabby chic thing. When you look at shabby chic stuff and you think that, you know, you, you look at it and you you think, I'm not entirely sure what it is I like about this kind of looking really faded and whatever. And it's it's probably because there's something like a layer of gesso has been added to it. Right, that's fine. Now, obviously that is a paint that has to dry to some extent. I'm just going to use one of my trusty baby wipes to wipe the desk. I really, do you know, I'm... See as crafters go, I know most crafters really don't mind getting really mucky. But it drives me nuts. I absolutely hate paint on my hands. Paint and ink on my hands drives me bananas. Absolutely bananas. I think it's an OCD thing, I don't know. Right, that will do. Right, so... What we'll maybe do is we'll move that to the side and we'll do the next one. So that we can... While that's drying... Oops, I was going to take a lid off that, no it's already off. Um, while that's drying, uh, we can be doing another one with washi. Now that one was... The washi I used there was advertising. And I think these are all washies I got on eBay, by the way. So if you just go into the lights at eBay and put in washi tape, or even Etsy, I'm conscious of the fact that a lot of folk will sell um, washi tape on Etsy. And can I just say one thing, I don't want folk on Etsy to hate me for this, but see if you're not in America. The postage is very prohibitive to enable me to buy my washi from Etsy. Uh, whereas I can go on and I can buy it on eBay from a British seller and generally speaking get free postage. Um, and that's that's why I do, that's why I use... Uh, eBay so much. It just it boils down to the postage. Um, and I've got some nice floral stuff here. I'm going to use that. It's, you know what it's like. You, you want to, I'd love to support other crafters that are selling stuff like this. But at the end of the day, it, it does boil down to money. If I don't have the cash to pay, your postage, I, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Um, likewise, I wouldn't expect you to buy anything from me if you can't afford my postage. It, it's always it always boils down to money. We have everything, doesn't it? This is really nice, this stuff. This is very colourful, uh, and I like. I love vintage stuff. Absolutely adore vintage stuff. So everything has vintage themes that I use. Or most things have vintage themes that I use. Should I say. Um, but I do uh, very much like a bit of colour as well. Right. I trust the acetate to flatten this down. I'm thinking it's time for me to buy a new uh, surface work mat and I'm watching other videos and looking at folk <laughs> as well as looking at the crafting I'm looking at what folk are working on and thinking would that work for me? And I know a lot of folk use a glass mat with measurements on it and it looks fabulous. Uh, I just don't know if... I like the measurements, I really do, uh, because it must make life so much easier than, you know, sitting doing thing and things and playing with two or three different rulers and then introducing uh, a guillotine or a 
paper trimmer to the equation. I'd love to be able to get it all done in a one but uh, I just can't make up my mind on that. That's a terrible waste of washing. But there you go, sometimes in life that happens. Right. Now I really quite like that as it is, but I'm wondering if I introduce an image to that. Do you know, I think that's fine. I think I'll get away with that. I'm not sure I need to. I can, well, do you know what I could do? I could maybe do selected bits. Just. To add a wee kind of shabby chic thing to it. Don't want to use a lot. A very little gesso in my brush. And I don't want it in any way obscure the pretty colours and images. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. It's muted slightly. Move that to the side. Right, and the last thing I've got is my narrow bit of tag. Glue stick. The girl I was watching this morning had used quite a lot of uh, K and Company type ephemera, and it's funny because I I bought some K and Company ephemera recently, and I threw it out because uh, see when I got it, I, I realised I am I am a snob when it comes to craft names, and I had bought this solely on the basis that it was K and Company. And see when I looked at it, it really wasn't very nice. Um, I had thought, I had Cane Company paper, well I have Cane Company paper that I bought from QVC years ago. And I seriously, I mean we are talking, got to be at least, I don't know, 15 years old. These papers, right? And they're in a box up the stairs. Not even in my room where I do my crafting, right? Um, and I've used some of them for a variety of cards that I made across the years. And they're, they're beautiful papers, but um, I've reached the stage where the ones that are left are uh, not the most colourful. Let's just put it like that. And they are single sided. So they're limited in that respect because I really don't like it when I've got a white background or a white back to a paper because uh, then I have to find a way in which I can decorate that paper to use it and that, that annoys me because uh, when you're trying to make things look muted and aged it involves, especially when it's a scrapbooking paper, it involves a lot of, um, what do you call it, an awful lot of ink Good old vintage photo. Right, least wee bit of gesso because I don't want to cover this too much. I want to add a shabby chic look to it, not cover it up because it's too nice. Right, that'll do. I think that'll do me. Clean my work top, put it to the side to dry. Right, don't think I need any more of the washi at this stage. I'm going to use, wait a minute, I got some, these are kind of black and white with gold elements. Uh, I think I might use some of these, they're kind of vellum stickers that I bought, so I'll try and use them as well. Right, so let's bring in this and we shall add some collage elements to it uh, just to liven it up. Now I'm going to add these which are lying on my desk 
these are just some little stickers floral stickers that are kind of vintage looking and I'm just going to put them on this as part of the background just to add some extra interest in terms of colour because I don't like this is very brown uh, or when I say brown it's very shades of beige um, and I'd, while I like the old shades of beige I don't like everything to be completely and utterly colourless because it, it gets it gets boring right I think I'm going to use this girl as my my main image on this so I'm just going to add a this one is a piece of what's her name ephemera um, Tsunami Rose ephemera that I shrunk down it, it was a page image and if you're looking for how to do that there's a really good video by Deli Girl 1961 I think the lassie's name is Cheryl I don't know her personally I've never spoken to her um, but she was the one who did a video telling you how to uh, basically shrink things on a page uh, or how to print a few things on a page and it, it was very useful because I didn't know how to do that Three point time. I had no idea how to do that uh, so I found that invaluable quite frankly and that being the case I would thoroughly recommend anybody who doesn't know how to do that to watch a video I'll try and link it if I may remember when I go to do the uploading so that you can see that um, so if it's something you don't know how to do it will prove quite useful I think <coughs> I'm just going to put that wee toty tag <coughs> toty is small Scots beak now I've still got some of the crossword puzzle not, not crossword <laughs> jigsaw <laughs> I really I, I, I'm, I'm not the brightest and I, you know basic basic words escape me occasionally we'll add this in as well uh, just again because I want to get stuff off my desk and it's all part of the collage process don't want to cover too much colour I like my colour <coughs> do you know I really should have a drink of water when I do this because as soon as I start speaking I give myself problems and you can't start coughing and you can't hear me A wee heart up there and it's partly to fill a wee gap partly just to get something else off my desk Now, she isn't straight and she isn't meant to be. Um, have I got that in shot? Okay. Could add a wee envelope down the bottom there. In fact, I don't have any, I don't think I've got any of my wee letters left. Uh, but what I will do is I will add this uh, to the bottom and I'll leave it open and then it's sticking it down so I'm not going to put any glue on that wee flap up there and I've got another wee heart which I'm going to put in there like that. 
and a wee hub can come out and you can write a wee secret tiny tiny little note on the back of it. Right, let us put that out of the way to dry and put it under something because that always helps when you've just glued stuff to make sure your glue stays down. Right, let's get our colourful image. Now the good thing is for this one I've got a kind of sepia toned uh, wee woman that I can add here somewhere and I think I don't have a lot left actually. We are running out of stuff. I do still have another wee envelope and I have another wee heart so we can add them I've also got a couple of doily bits. So shall we add a doily? I think we shall. I think we shall. Yes, we'll add a doily. Uh, this has clearly been cut off of a bigger doily. Uh, by myself, obviously. And that's, again, fair enough. I think the best, uh, the best method by which you can use big doilies if you get things like that, um, you know, maybe big, I was going to call them antimacassars. You, you might not know what an antimacassar is. Macassar is something that uh, gentlemen wore on their hair uh, in the Victorian era and it was kind of like, uh, I'm going to use another phrase for something that we use now, brill cream. Uh, I think brill cream might be I don't know if brill cream is a British thing, but it's basically, um, let me think, George Clooney kept talking about it in Oh Brother Where Art Thou, it's a hair, a gentleman's hair embellishment, a kind of wax if you like, that holds a man's hair in place. So an anti-macassar was a a kind of doily type thing that went over the back of an armchair so that when a man rested his head in the back of the chair the wax from it didn't mark the chair it was an anti-macassar macassar being the wax that he applied to his hair um, so I, I've got a feeling a lot of these things have come from something like an anti-macassar um, and there, so that's a wee history lesson for you today if you didn't know that uh, but it was basically a little uh, kind of crochet type doily that prevented gentlemen's hair wax from going all over your furniture. Uh, so we'll do that and we shall apply this little envelope again on top of that little doily. That'll cut out. Put my wee envelope on and let you hold that down in place because that uh, that needs a wee bit of help to stick. And I'm going to add a wee bit of glue to my heart this time and stick my heart in my envelope just as if it's coming out. And then my glue spewed out the top of my heart. So we'll move that. Not got a lot left here. Still got a wee tag. Oh, do you know what else I've got? Perio, I hope you're watching. Do you remember these when we were in Edinburgh? Um, <laughs> we were in Edinburgh and Perio was looking to send her uh, postcards home to Germany. And uh, in the post office we went into in Edinburgh, they had a pile of these lying on the counter along with a variety of other uh, paper type things involved in the sending of letters. And the two of us were like vultures, <laughs> quite frankly, <laughs> picking up what we could um, that we thought we could subsequently use on your junk journals. What are we like? Where are we going to do the same things? You see something? I was in a, the, the range yesterday when I was buying my... And we're back. 
Uh, I was in the range yesterday when I was buying my, my papers and um, I was actually in looking for a parasol cover. Uh, not for a parasol, I have to add. It was actually for my uh, Whirly Gig clothes dryer, which um, they basically use parasol covers. And by parasol, I mean the big summer ones that you get. Anyway, uh, I was having a look at wallpaper and I, I, I came across some more, uh, what do you call it? What's that? Unicorn paper. And I was going to take a bit just to show you, but I thought, no, don't, because I don't want anybody to see me with unicorn paper. Right, I think we'll call it a day at that one. Uh, journaling card decorated in the front with what's on my desk. Hold on, I've got a wee bit of glue coming out the top of that, that drives me nuts as well. Right, so all we've got left to do, we'll put that over to dry as well. Last thing we have is th this one. And I think actually what I shall do is I shall use my trusty tag and cut off my corners on this one so that it is tag shaped. This is my... I'm pretending these are my lace scissors. And yeah, I've just brought them out to cut this. But it, I honestly... I'm sorry. I, Lisa, you can shout at me all you like. I don't keep separate scissors or separate things. I know I should, but I don't. And I'm going to use my little punch to punch a hole. Where I shall put my ribbon. Try and make sure I get it sort of in the middle. Uh, ring strengtheners are on my desk somewhere. Where, are they? Where did I put them? Oh, there they are. Now, I've actually got some blue ones because I'd. When we did the blue journal, I had made a lot of these in preparation for the blue journal and the blue tags. Uh, so much so that I've had excess ones. So we can use them on this. Right, we've got very little left on the desk. Very, very little. Which is what we were aiming for. Um, got a couple of bits of lace. Got a postage stamp. Got a tsunami rose image. I think that will do us. Yeah, this is a. The good thing is they're both florally. So normally I wouldn't use glue for this by the way. I would use my glue stick because it's just being a stamp it's not that thick. It doesn't really need to. Now I want to have it at an angle. There's going to be a slight overhang and that's fine. I'm not, not got a problem with that. I'm going to put this wee tsunami rose image at the bottom. And I know it's covering my really nice washi. I know it doesn't matter. It's the 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 whole principle of uh, collage is that you will cover some stuff. Now, nope, don't like that. Can't use that. I've got a wee half a doily, which. I could use but I don't I don't think I like that. And I think that's too big. Yep. Got a wee tag which I could apply. In fact I will. One of my wee stamp tags.
And we'll just stick that there. Now, I've, I could add one of my airmail stickers somewhere if I wanted to, but I don't know. Do you know what I could do? Is I could stick it there and cut that off. Adding to the random look, if you like. I think it's raining really heavy. And see the bit we're left? If we're fussed about losing that, or not losing it rather, we can add that down there. How does that look? There you go. A uh, big long tag. If these bits annoy you, you can cut them off. Just the bits of the stamps that are overhanging. So they won't cause a nuisance if you cut them off by sticking to anything else. And that's that. So lid on glue. All that's left in my desk now is got napkins for the other day, bits of lace. Got black lace that would go really quite well with that. Let's cut that and see what that looks like. Because there's black in that stamp, I'm thinking from the point of view of Sorry, I'm just making this uh, lace neater. In terms of the pattern of what else it's going to be lying on. Right, if I add that lace there. I don't know, is that too much? Hold it up there next to that black. It might be too much. I'm adding that at the bottom. Right, we'll just add that at the bottom. I'll hold them and show it. I really, I should do what other folk do and actually mark out my, my work surface so that I can ensure because I, I watch, sometimes watch a wee bit of my video and I think wait a minute where am I? You know I can hear my voice but I can't see me doing anything. Oh that wasn't meant to happen. Right wait that wee bit of desk. A bit overhang here, so we're going to get that tidy in that. No, having that. Right, that's us. We need to tidy these scissors. So that's my tag. Let me see my other two. That's my journaling card and my other journaling card. There you go. Hope you like that. Um, any questions or any comments, uh, by all means give me a shout and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, thanks very much for your time and I shall see you soon. Bye guys. Bye.